welcome to the channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I make videos twice a week, so on Tuesdays and on Fridays. And if you're a return subscriber, thank you so, so much for your continued love and support of my channel. And I'm really hoping you enjoy my content. So today's video was going to be a review on the sun, not sun kiss, my head's totally away. I'm kind of batch reviewing things. So it's on the Garnier Summer Body Gradual Tanner in the shade Me in the Dark. So it looks like this. Now, I've been using this as top rocker, like top rocker, yeah, basically, from my um, normal mousse kind of instant self tan. Now, I don't have it on today, which is a bit of a not so smart idea because I'm reviewing it, but to give you an idea, if I used two layers of this, the phone just dropped, it's going so well, isn't it? Right. So, if I used two layers of this kind of gradual tanner, it'll give me less colour. So. It's like a nice medium, like the medium colour I've got on my skin. But it is just my tan worn off from the weekend, so I did have it, um, I had a tan on at the weekend. I had like the Bondi Sands Express one, not the Earl Express, it's actually the um, regular, like the regular Express that got replaced by the Earl Express, so that makes sense. I just, I'm reviewing both of them. I've reviewed actually the Earl one, so if you want to see that review, just look at that video. But Right now we're focusing on this product, so it's a gradual tanner, it's a moisturising lotion and also has a bit of a gradual tan to it, so that's basically what it is. So so you can use this on its own for like a nice kind of light to medium, get it up to medium if you use three layers, like three nights consistently, like just three layers of the tan. Or you can use it to top up your um, fake tan, so like your instant proper fake tan. So like your Bondi Sands mousse or whatever kind of mousse you use. For instance, if I used the Bondi Sand Express, I would rinse it off the guy colour like in the morning, then apply like a full body application of this. It would just deepen up my tan a shade or half a shade and just really moisturise my skin and prolong that tan. So say for instance I get a shower the day after I've applied my Bondi Sands and applied this, so say if Wash off my tan on a Saturday, apply this on a Saturday, and a Sunday night I'm getting ready to go to college. Like just getting my shower the night before, so I shower, my, like wash my body in the shower, and then I dry myself, put this on. It'll just kind of replace the lost colour which I've lost from like my shower, tape, especially when I'm exfoliating my skin. Applying this over top will just kind of boost my colour just to be a bit more kind of darker and prolong it and also moisturise my skin. So it's great, it's a great wee product. It's similar to Dove, um, the Dove one, the half like, basically does the same thing, but rather than as Dove, basically. So I like the Dove one, I like the Palmer's, the Cocoa Butter one, that one's good too, but I love this one, this one's probably my favourite one out of all of them. So, Sandra Pay also have a good one and I like that one too but this one's cheaper so I'll just get that one I know but you might as well you get this for about three or four pounds out of Sammy Chem so I normally get my kind of gradual tanners or I kind of tan it can get I get it in Sammy Chem or Savers because it's a lot cheaper and who doesn't love a bargain so I might as well get it from there but yeah it's about reaching on three to four pounds if you get it in boots it'll probably be about seven pounds or something like that, I don't know. I will link it down below. So this stuff does last a good couple well not a couple days, a few days. It lasts a few days and we before I have to scrub it off but my skin has a fast skin cell turnover so I have to like apply my tan, like do the exfoliate and tan routine twice a week just to keep it up. But when you've got a slower kind of skin cell renewal it'll last longer. So people were like, my tan lasts two weeks, my tan lasts a week and it still is dark. I'm like, well, you're lucky, but mine doesn't. But I think in a good sense, my skin looks a lot younger than what I actually am. So I'm lucky that way. But with tans, I have to do it twice a week. So it all depends on your kind of skin type, tone, whatever, how this is going to react on your skin. I would say it isn't too warm tone. It's kind of like... A bit olive, but not olive. It's kind of like in between warm and olive. The way it goes on, I find Dove one is a bit more warmer, and the Palmer's one's about. I think this is the same kind of color as the Palmer's. The Saint Tropez one, it's very similar to that. Or the Dove one is kind of more warmer, 
is what I remember it to be. But yeah, so if you're looking for a slightly more olivey gradle tan, I would definitely recommend this or a Saint Tropez one. And the smell of it, it has that kind of zesty, kind of like mango orangey smell to it, like citrus. I love the smell of it, it's the United Planet. The smell just, oh, I just love it, it's so amazing. Just, and I find it's one of the more moisturising and gradual tanners because when your planet, your skin just sinks in and it makes your skin feel so soft, like baby skin. It's basically a like baby skin on your skin. Like it makes your skin feel so amazing. I use it on my face, so I put it on my face to keep up my face tan. Even though like some people may be sensitive to like face like tan on their face, some tans do react with my skin on my face. This one's safe on my skin, but obviously test out at your own risk. So say if you've got really sensitive skin, I recommend where you like do a patch test on like an area of your face. Obviously wear makeup to kinda of even it out. <laughs> But if you're just worried you a patch test or you want to you use it at your own risk but don't be coming over here like just put it on thinking it's going to be okay if your skin if your skin's different to mine and take a reaction don't come to me and like no hon I'm not dealing with that but that's what I said <laughs> do it at your own risk so patch test or do it all over but it should be fine regardless it's okay in my skin but yeah. As I said before, do it at your own risk, but it does give me a nice kind of boost to my tan. That's what I mainly use it for, like a boost, like a booster tan basically and a moisturizer at the same time. So it's basically like a two-in-one, so it's great for people who are in a rush and just gets two jobs on at once, so it's brilliant. I do have a different shade called Light the Medium. Now, if you're very, very fair or you just want this light kind of glow to your skin, go for it. I'm not sure like an NC10, I am literally proper white. So I like to have a load of colour. Like people always think if you're like the fair skinned, go for a very light tan. I'm like, no, I want the darkest tan ever because I want to have dark all tan skin. That's what I dream of having. So even with gradual I go for like the darkest shade possible. So I can't say what I feel about the like the main one because I don't use it. I used to be in the dark so that's it. It's basically called Deep Sun Kiss Look, I'm just reading it on the bottle. And it has apricot, that's where it is. Apricot is a scent, so I should have read the front of it, shouldn't I? It would, made, it would have made more sense anyway. So it is very moisturising, it just basically says what it does in the tent, it moisturises your skin and gives you a hint of a self tanner. So it does what it says in the tent and it does what it says in the bottle very well, so it's brilliant. So I hope you enjoyed this video, hope I didn't ramble too much, which I do, I ramble a lot. So I'll see you again in the next one. Stay gorgeous. Bye.